we taught one man in particular, Gordon, um, who was white and just like really, really smart, um, and intellectually sound. And it was really neat to be able to teach him. I didn't feel capable or qualified oftentimes, but he understood very well the restoration of the gospel. He grew up Episcopalian and there was a great falling out in his church because of some scandal with their leader. And it really rocked his faith. He just did not understand why, why that, that happened. And so for several years, he hadn't gone to church. And so when he started meeting with the missionaries and they started teaching him about the apostasy and the restoration, things just really clicked really well for him. And he thirsted after understanding the details of the restoration. And so it was neat to be able to teach him and to be able to explain that in English and to connect with him. God prepares his people. Um, and we had great success throughout our whole mission. Like God promises and preach my gospel in the scriptures that he's going to provide people to receive you. And even though like, I didn't always believe that he really does. And it's the most exciting thing to have relationships with these people whose lives are changed now because God really does prepare them and places you there. Like I didn't do anything, but simply show up and did my best to do the work. And then God lets you be a recipient in the process of feeling that joy. So to sit in church with all of those investigators around you all at the same time uh, was really neat to be able to partake of the sacrament and realize the atonement of Jesus Christ is blessing each and every single one of these people, including myself, but in a different way for every single person. Um, and so I was able to realize that God plays a personal role in our lives and the magnitude and depth of Christ's sacrifice is able to reach every single body on a personal level. And while I didn't know exactly what their personal needs were, just as a 19 year old sister, God did. And it was really neat to be an instrument to be able to reach every single different person. And that happened in several other wards. I remember sitting in San Antonio specifically, um, it was last two springs ago. And we were sitting with several different investigators all around us. Um, some who suffered from great, um, trials of dealing with anti-literature material, some whose mom d wanted to disown her, others who just came from Mexico and didn't have a husband to support her, and just people are able to really be lifted through the atonement of Christ. But I think there is a lot a missionary can do while they are serving in the field. I love to connect with people and be personable with them, um, which is great. And I think that we're supposed to do that because we're individually called to serve in these different areas because our personalities really might, we might hit it off well with someone. But I think that it's tempting to just become attached to your recent converts and to your investigators, um, which can make it really difficult for some of these people to progress and to move on. And so... Um, at the end of my mission, I think I was a lot better at um, finding members who really connected well with these recent converts to build good relationships with. I think that's one of the biggest things that you can do to help someone progress, to just have the ward attached to them to, so that they can lift them so that when you are transferred or go home that they have someone to really continue to rely on. Um, and then just... I think reminding people, reminding your recent converts and investigators that it's okay if they don't understand everything and it's okay if they bring something totally new to the table. Um, there was this one recent convert, his name is Johnny Donovan. He was a Pentecostal um, for 20 years and then the sisters came knocking on his door and he said, oh no, 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 like you've got the wrong person. I already believe in Jesus. Like you need to go find someone else and eventually... I got transferred and we started teaching him and um, he got baptized and he says it's the best decision he's ever made. He was endowed the last week of my mission and I'm going to go see him this summer. Um, but he, I think he always felt like, oh, I need to really fit in and I need to learn how the Mormons work and everything. But I think 
he needs to understand too that he brings so much to the table. Um, and it's not about fitting into the LDS mold, but it's about bringing your different talents and um, personalities and experiences to the table to really enrich the ward. Uh, because as members, we can learn a lot from these new recent converts as well. So yeah, it's going to take a lot for them to adjust to being involved in so many different extracurricular activities in the church and to everything that's expected of a member, but they have a lot to bring to the table too. So if you can help them realize that, that they're needed, they are needed in our congregation, then I think they're going to have a lot smoother experience.